Hey, I'm Adam with the FM99. I'm at Lunatic Lou All 17. I got Dinosaur Pile up here. I got Matt and Jim and Mike. We're doing it for real style. Hey, guys, just real quick. Um, give us a quick story about where 1111 came from. Everyone wants to know. 1111, uh, 11, uh, so we were touring for about a year and a half prior to writing the album. So in that year and a half of touring, we were kind of messing with ideas and messing with the, with the songs that eventually would become the album. And uh, we would just see 1111 like everywhere. And I guess because we would see 1111 so frequently, it became kind of significant to us. Yeah. So all the songs that were written in that period of time, like that was kind of titled, I guess, to us 1111. So we called the record 1111 because it just reminds us of that touring period, which is weird actually because we even see 1111 like still, now. Yeah, all the time. Still, um, yeah, it's yeah. like in that dude, in ways you wouldn't even believe. It's, well, it's, it's like the Jim Carrey film number 23 on steroids. Wow, yeah. it's yeah. nuts. Yeah. Like. So you almost have to write an album about it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. exactly. And now, every time we see it, it's, like, justified. Yeah, so it's weird yeah. because people are always like, what does 11-11 mean? Right. I guess, in many ways, it doesn't actually mean anything, but it means we something... We kind of adopted a meaning. Yeah, it means something yeah. to us, like, because but of that whole time. Something that we experienced all together for yeah. an intense period of touring. Right. Like, we were touring through, like... <laughs> <laughs> we were touring through, like, India, America, Japan, Europe, yeah. UK. Wow. So, like... Like I said, it doesn't really mean anything, but at the same time, when we when we say eleven eleven, it kind of reminds us of that totally, whole, yeah. that whole of energy in yeah. that time. That's awesome. Yeah, so, awesome. I mean, you guys, you just said this this is taking you guys all over the world. Yeah. So maybe share maybe some stories. Have you guys avoided trouble anywhere? Like maybe almost got arrested, been stranded. We, we, we have been. We did get arrested. You did. Yeah. Well, well, not quite arrested, but uh, we we uh, bought some beers in New York. And we were told that we were allowed to drink them on the street if they were brown bagged. Okay. Yeah. So it's Hollywood's fault. I think it's gay. every Hollywood film <laughs> lets you believe that you can drink it on the streets of it's New York. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's in a brown bag. Right. So, so we went in and we even, like, even the guy in the shop was like, "Yeah, yeah go, it'll be you fine. Go it's more it. of a guideline." So yeah. actually, <laughs> this is a great story. Yeah. So we, uh, okay, this was last U.S. tour. This, Right now, is this our fifth or sixth U.S.? This is our sixth. This is our wow. sixth, sixth awesome. U.S. tour. Great. So last U.S. tour, we were out with Chevelle, who we're currently uh, touring with uh, right. right now as well. So, um, okay, th this is a funny story. The night before we flew out, it was one of our best friends. He, uh, he's called Jay. It was his birthday. Okay. He's uh, he like is I've known him for like 20 years. Like he's our filmographer. He comes on tour and film stuff. So cool. me and Mike went to Jay's birthday. All right. We got so messed up, <laughs> like so accidentally, so uh, badly messed up. So me, me and Mike are destroyed. We go to bed for like two hours. We go, we go and get the flight to New York, okay. which is awesome on a hangover. Yeah, which right. is great. Which uh, is great. Uh, like, uh, like I remember getting the, in the bus, me like I'm slaps, and he was like, me neither. Like so that was that was that was a good start. Yeah. We got on the plane. We drink all the way there. We kind of have a, a plane party, and, and all the staff sort of become our, our best friends. Yeah, of course, you're right. Was, yeah, we were like, I was having a little sleep. Yeah. And I, uh, I was woken up, and I heard this like weird laughter coming from the back, and I was oh like, Mike's seat's empty. Yeah. Uh -oh. We go at the back, and he's with all of the airplane staff. Yeah. yeah. Like, having a party. <laughs> like having a party. He's in the middle my of the party. Him it was um, it was fucking insane. It was one of my proudest moments yeah. watching him entertain a whole plane <laughs> start. It was brilliant. All right, so we land in New York. We go to a pizza place around the corner straight as we, like, as soon as we land, we're hungry. Called Best Pizza, which is amazing. Best Pizza, way. yeah. There you go. In Brooklyn. Good name. Uh, unbelievable. Yeah. We, we were staying in an Airbnb, which is like this rat infested, like, rat hole. <laughs> yeah. It was next level. Don't we go around the corner um, to this Best Pizza place. We sit down, we get pizza. Am I talking for too long? No, you're good. Go All for right. it. We sit down. <laughs> I, I don't want to, like, kill the vibe. You're good. So we sit down, and uh, the guy next to us is like, oh, like, where are you guys from? And we're like, London. And he's like, what are you doing here? Like, business, pleasure. And we're like, business. He's yeah. like, what are you doing? We're like, we're in a band. We're playing. And he's like, are you Donis or Pilot? And we're like, oh, the first guy we met. He's awesome. like, it was it was awesome. He starts yeah. shouting 1111. We were like, that's... Well, like, this doesn't happen in the UK. Yeah. Why is this happening here? <laughs> that's late. So that, then we went out. That same night. So technically, in a in a one day, twenty four hour period, yeah. we'd gone out three times. <laughs> yeah. So me and Mike, a Jay's party, then on the plane, then as soon as we landed, awesome. Yeah. It was a three day drunk in one day. It was little, amazing. Little party binge, nice. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. We were going around the corner. These guys saw this. We were literally between bars, and uh, yeah. we had been told. Obviously, we'd watched 
watch all these films. We're like, brown bag, it's fine. We told the guy, he's like, at the, at the uh, store who sold us the beers, like, yeah, brown bag, it's absolutely fine. Walking down the street, literally like five yards down the street, as if the police have been watching us go in. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. And they, they cornered us, they came running after us, they, like, as if we were, like, fucking... Sorry. Uh, <laughs> as if we were, like, robbing something, or, I don't know, doing something properly illegal. They corralled us, like we were going to run away. Nice. And then they wrote us up. It was... Wow. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so they yeah, bust... Man, no, man. <laughs> they bust around the corner, like... Jump out of the car like he exploded out of the car. Yeah, we're like, we're standing there like, yeah, Whoa. we're like, we Whoa, do? something's yeah. going That's on. In a brown bag. Yeah. 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 Hollywood said. Yeah, we we got fined and like ticketed. And Just stuff. find a ticket. Yeah, yeah. told you to leave. And it was right. uh, it was hilarious. Oh, like, for us, that was kind of a trip. Man, those New Yorkers. Yeah. watch for them, right? Especially when you're like hungover, jet lagged three times. Uh, yeah, and super drunk. Like. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Deadly. obviously, you guys' camaraderies come together. Yeah. I know dinosaurs kind of shifted together and kind of molded to become what it is yeah. now. Yeah. So, uh, with with that, where do you guys kind of see yourselves going? What do you, what can your fans be expecting? I know I know you're always writing music, yeah. and, and you got these guys helping you now. I mean, I'm sure that's leading up to something huge. Totally, totally. Like, it's weird with this band. Like, obviously, I started this band 11 years ago, right. and it's kind of organically grown 11 into 11. Right. There it is. Boom. Like. It's grown into what it is now, which is its kind of form that it should have always been, which is which is great. It's kind of weird though because it's it's done that organic progression in the public eye, yeah. Which I guess is due to like the internet and you know, say if this band had started in the eighties, no one no one would have really seen that progression, right? Because everything's documented on the internet. That's kind of out there, yeah. Which is cool, whatever. Mm -hmm. So like, Mikey joined the band seven years ago. Jim joined the band four years ago. Even though I've known Jim for like. Nine Ever. years forever. forever. <laughs> yeah. So it's cool because 1111 was the first record that we could make together. Sure. Yep. And now I guess we've just been touring solidly since two years or a year and a half before 1111. So we've kind of been the, around the world like four times together. We've made a record together. We've toured like everywhere. So I guess what's cool for us now is that we can just move into like making the fourth record together and the fifth record and the sixth record awesome. it's kind of just nice that we've like found this pocket of like we're super close friends we Absolutely. have a really good time on tour and we're like well the only the only thing left to do is just make albums i guess absolutely and i know you guys draw a lot of your inspiration from a lot of the same artists yeah. right yeah and uh what well, i i just kind of found it funny and i don't know why this kept coming up in my research on you guys but um the beach boys yeah yeah Love the Beach Boys. Yeah, so maybe would, could you maybe ever consider doing a cover? And if you did, yeah. which one? Uh, um, a Beach Boys cover. A Beach yeah, Boys uh, cover. He knows. I know, but I've forgotten the name of it. Yeah, it's that one that's... Uh, the one. Maybe Hummus a Few. It like... Uh, Hummus a Few Bars. Is it like Breakaway? Uh, I think it might be Breakaway. I can't, I can't remember it, but... So, I recorded a, a Beatles cover yeah. and a Beach Boys cover. Awesome. And we've played the Beach Boys... Uh, the Beatles cover... Please, please me. Like lo we played that on tour for a while. Amazing. But like my mum used to play um, a whole mix of like hard rock, Beach Boys, Beatles, so like 60s pop. Right. Like uh, the beginnings of heavy metal, so like Sabbath and Led Zeppelin. She used to play like um, uh, Whitney Houston, so like 90s pop, wow. like, really hardcore pop. Yeah, it's a so, range. Yeah, so it's like this mad range of like hard rock and heavy metal that was like kicking, and then like. Beatles, Beach Boys, and Whitney Houston. That was an ABBA. And Foreigner. And Foreigner. And Foreigner. Yeah. And Boston. Rainbow. I yep. can, I, the list goes on. Yeah. You know, I mean, this, this crazy sense of melody and heavy metal and hard rock. So when I was growing up, like that was a massive influence, I think. Yeah. So bands like the Beach Boys and, and the Beatles are a huge... Absolutely. A huge part of the band. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Be cool. Well, hey, this is Dinosaur Pile Up. I appreciate you guys taking yeah, the time dude. to have the interview. Yeah, right. Awesome. I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm left handing it. All right, right on. All right, guys. Cool. All right, hey, look these guys up online. They're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, yep. Tumblr, yep. all that good yep. stuff. So, right. Dinosaur Pile Up.